I'm back. I missed you. Bye, Shine. With the craft fair two weeks away, I decided instead of making things for the craft fair, I would procrastinate some more and make a sign for the back of my booth. First thing I had to do to make this sign was glue all my letters to a sheet of plywood. I hand drew all these letters, but you could just print them out off your printer and do the same. I used spray adhesive to attach these to this piece of wood. After I had them glued onto the paper, I was able to move over to my miter saw and cut them into smaller pieces so I could then move over to my band saw and cut out each letter. This took a long time and these didn't come out perfect, but I am very happy with the way they came out for my first time ever trying to do this. Ah, I see it says the word diet right there. Rude. Because I had been procrastinating so much lately, I came out into my workshop at 3 in the morning to get this unnecessary sign done, and that is why it's dark while I paint the letters black. I spray painted them black, and it left a negative of dye trying on my workshop floor, which I thought was pretty fun. Then I covered this piece of plywood with a ridiculous amount of glue and attached these pallet boards to the top of said plywood. After that, I could apply some of this boiled linseed oil to give it a bit of a shine. This doesn't need to be perfect, it's just the background of my sign. Then I ripped off the edge to clean it up a little. Now it's time to make the picture frame that will go around this sign. And if you watch this channel, you already know how I usually do my picture frames. I passed the board, standing up on its edge, through the table saw, and then lower the table saw blade to meet up with that cut, and then slide my table set, then slide my table saw then slide my table saw fence over so that I can also meet up with that line, pass it through again, and it will cut out that nice little channel. Now with this one, because I didn't have enough wood to make the 45s, I had to remove this little knob, knob, notch, piece of wood. I had to remove this little piece of wood right here. So I set a depth on my miter saw. Then I ran over to my band saw and cut off that little piece right there. This will make the frame meet up nice and smooth all the way around, which will be easier to understand in a minute when I'm attaching the frame. Then I cut out all these little tiny pieces of wood and spray painted them black. These are just gonna lift the letters up off the background so that it looks like they're floating. That's because there's gonna be lights around the frame of this which will shine underneath the letters and give that effect that they're floating, like I just said. I glued and nailed all of these on straight through the letter through the block into the pallet wood piece that I cut earlier. Now I'm just cutting a little channel by passing my frame through the table saw multiple times by moving the fence over a little bit at a time to cut out this channel where my strip lights will go. Once I had that done, I could start gluing and nailing this frame on. Like I said, I have been procrastinating getting ready for this craft fair, so making this sign was not my best idea. But my ADD kicked in, and this is what piqued my interest, so I went with it. And it worked out in the end because somebody ended up ordering a sign from me. Once I had the frame all nailed together, I could take my strip lights and put them in that little channel I had cut. I used some hot glue to make sure that it wouldn't come back out. And then I brought it all outside, gave it a few coats of spray polyurethane, and then I attached these chains which will hang from the back of my booth. Also, I could hang this in my shop like so. And there we go. Lights up, looks awesome gets me jobs making signs. I'd even sell it probably if somebody asked, but anyway, there's a bunch more videos coming and Halloween season is coming. And if you know me, you know that I have a lot of Halloween videos coming out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one later. Bye. Bye, see you again and have a good dream.